What is up YouTube? My name is Brent and welcome to part 12 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So in this tutorial we're actually going to be creating the ground in our game uh, and making it look like it actually moves as the bird flies across our ga game screen. And of course when the bird actually touches the ground it kills him off because that's what the ground does to every bird I've ever seen. Okay, so uh, when using our ground, we're gonna do it just like uh, we did the tubes in our game. So when one, we're gonna use two ground positions, okay? So two textures, but it's actually just one texture. When one of those textures go was off the screen, we're not going to just keep it off the screen or delete it. We're gonna move it back to the front um, where our bird can now go over it again. So we're just repositioning two different textures to keep them both on the screen. The reason we're using two different textures is because this has kind of got like a stripe pattern. And so as the bird bounces around uh, uh, over it, it kind of looks like it's actually, the ground is actually moving. So we take for example, when this uh, actually goes off the screen, you know, keeps going rather, it's going to then get really repositioned like over here so the bird can keep bouncing, keep bouncing, and it'll eventually get back over this texture. So first things first in our play state, let's create our ground texture. So private texture ground, and then down here in our constructor, ground equals new texture, and it is ground.png. Now we need something to hold the positions of our two grounds that we're going to have on the screen. So we're going to use vector two quantities. So vector two, ground position one and ground position two. And then down here we'll say ground position one equals new vector two. The X is going to be starting originally from uh, the left side of our camera. So we need to say uh, cam.position.x minus cam.viewportWidth divided by two. And then the Y will right now be zero. We probably change that here in a second. And then ground position two equals new vector two cam dot position dot x minus cam dot viewport width divided by two. And we need to um, put all these in brackets actually. And over here as well. And we also need to add the width because this is going to be the second one on the screen. So we need to offset it by the width of the ground, uh, the ground texture. So plus ground dot get width. And then we'll also set this at a Y position of zero. So now we need to go ahead and draw our ground. So uh, sprite batch in our render method dot draw. We're going to give it our ground. And then we'll say ground position one dot x and ground position one dot y. And then we'll copy and paste this. And we'll just do ground position two right here. So, testing this right now. Uh, you can see that the ground is a little too high up on our screen and now after the first two have been set they're not updating anything so we actually need to make sure that they're moving uh, like I said previously when one gets off the screen. So to fix the first thing let's uh, create an offset for our ground so private static final int ground y offset equals we'll say just minus 30 and now in when we're creating instead of zero in the y-axis we'll say ground y offset ground y offset so let's create a new method called update ground private void update ground oops and inside here, we're going to check to see if the camera is past where the position of our uh, ground actually is, what would actually show on the screen. So if position or uh, cam dot position dot x minus cam dot viewport width divided by two 
is greater than ground position one dot x plus ground dot get width. Then we're gonna say ground position one dot add, and then we'll say um, ground dot get width multiplied by two in the x axis and zero on the y axis. Now what we can do is we can copy this and also up here, so we'll copy this and we'll just paste this down here for also the ground position two. We'll do it right here. Now let's just in our update method up here under handle input, we'll also say update ground so go ahead and in testing it here. Now we can see the ground is lower on our screen. And as we go along our game world, our ground is continuously uh, moving itself to be in position to be seen by the screen. Um, so we can tell that both of our ground positions are actually working. I've also um, gone ahead and changed the ground Y offset to negative 50. It just looks better, it's lower on the screen. You can adjust that to however height uh, you actually want it. Now, one other thing is we want to kill our bird when um, it gets to the bottom half of the screen or touches the ground. So what we can say in our update method is if bird.getPosition.y is less than or equal to ground.getHeight plus ground y offset. If it's lower than the ground level, then uh, gsm.set new play state and give it back our GSM. That's basically the same as, you know, killing the bird off. So let's go ahead and run it one more time and see if it's actually functional. Um, here we go. So we'll get through the first obstacle and then it touches the ground and it kills the bird as per obvious world, uh, real world application. As soon as bird touches the ground, it's splat. So of course the last thing we need to do is to dispose of our ground texture. So in our play state in the dispose method, we'll do ground.dispose. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. We talked about moving our ground to keep it in position uh, with our camera's viewport. Um, and we talked about killing off our bird by uh, seeing where it is in the Y axis. And if it gets to our ground level, we go ahead and kill it off and create a new play state. Uh, so if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. And of course, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. It helps me continue to produce videos. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys next time.